everyone. It is the evening of Tuesday, March 26th, and I'm coming to you with my April TBR. Um, these are the books that I want to read in April. Um, April is my husband's birthday month, and so uh, to commemorate my husband's birthday month, I am going to be reading nonfiction for the month of April because my husband primarily reads nonfiction books, and I almost never read nonfiction books, so... Um, this should be interesting, uh, but I have some pretty cool titles, and so I'm kind of excited about what I'm going to be reading uh, for the month of April. So let me get started. Uh, the first book that I'm going to read, or what well, may not be the first book, this is in no particular order. I'm going to pick them up how, however I pick them up. Honestly, though, I really think I'm going to read this one first, because I just really want to read this book. Oh, actually, no, this is not the one that I'm going to read first. I will talk about the one that I'm going to read first, because I've already decided. Um, I want to start the book with The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lack by Rebecca Skloot. Um, this is a book, uh, if you don't know what this is, um, she was a poor black tobacco farmer whose cells were taken without her knowledge in 1951 and became one of the most important tools in medicine, vital for developing the polio vaccine, cloning, gene mapping, and more. Henrietta Sells have been bought and sold by the billions, yet she remains virtually unknown, and her family can't afford health insurance. So uh, that's all I'm going to read about the thing. But basically, this woman had cancer. Uh, they took her cells, and they did all these medical advancements on them, and never told her family, never gave her family a dime. And so this is the book about that whole skirmish. So I've heard wonderful, wonderful things about this book. And so I'm really, really excited to start reading this. And um, a lot of readers that I follow on uh, YouTube have read this book and, you know, just gave it rave reviews. So I'm really looking forward to reading this. Uh, the next book that I'm going to read, which I'm super excited about, is Bossy Pants by Tina Fey. <laughs> um, I just cannot wait to read this book. I may make this one first because... I would just love, it's been a long time since I've read a book that just made me laugh, laugh, laugh. And so I'm looking forward to reading this because I feel like this book is going to be absolutely hysterical. And so I'm looking forward to reading that. Um, I want to incorporate a children's book, at least one children's book, into all of my reading because I'm trying to read more children's books and I've picked up quite a few titles. And so, um, but like I said, this is supposed to be nonfiction month. And so I was like, well, what am I going to read? So I'm going to read this. I picked this up at my kids' um, book fair. It is Hidden Like Anne Frank, 14 True Stories of Survival. And this is basically a book about uh, 14 uh, Jewish persons that were hidden, uh, like Anne Frank, <laughs> uh, during World War II Germany. And I was interested in picking up this book after having read The Book Thief because The Book Thief is of a similar theme. And so I really wanted to, I saw this on the shelves, or so actually one of the teachers came in and were asking, looking for this book, and I was like, that's what this is about, and so I was like, I have to pick this up, and so I'm looking forward to reading this um, and seeing what it's like, so yeah. The next book that I am going to read is Eats, Shoots, and Leaves by Lynn Trust. This is a book about punctuation, and I started this book and never finished it. And so I really want to finish it this month because I loved this book when I was reading it. I don't know why I put it down, but it was very, very entertaining. And I'm a grammar Nazi and I love, love, love punctuation and grammar and just all those things like that. Sentence structure, the whole nine. And so um, I am super, super excited to finally finish this book because this book, uh, this book actually made me laugh. It was very funny because she just talked about all these things that us grammar Nazis deal with. And it was so funny because there's so many times when I was like, yes, yes, that's so true. That's so true. So... I'm really excited to uh, read this book and finally finish it. And so I'm going to read that this month. And then this book I'm really excited about. This is actually my husband's book. And he read it this year and he loved it. And it is called Hallucinations by Oliver Sacks. And it is um, about the science of hallucinations. And um, Kevin read me some passages about this, you know, from out of this book and told me about some different stories that he read in this book. And it sounds so fascinating. And I'm really, really thrilled to get started and, and read this one. And I remember after he finished it saying to myself, you know, I think I'm going to read this book. And so I would like to get to this book this month, even though it might be a little heady for me. But um, we'll see. Uh, I think I'll be OK. So I'm looking forward to uh, reading this and uh, getting into the mind of people who hallucinate. Because actually, interestingly enough, Amy Tan suffers from hallucinations. And uh, she's one of my favorite writers. And so she has a excerpt in this book where she talks about um, her hallucination. Isn't that right, babe? Doesn't she have a part in the book? Where she talks about how she, uh, some of the hallucinations that she experiences and, and things like that. So this should be very interesting read. And so those are the books that I'm going to read in April. 
Um, I'm looking forward to this journey, actually, because since I've been doing these videos, I've really been trying to expand my reading horizons and read things that I wouldn't normally read. I used to kind of be like a literary snob <laughs> and be like, eh, I only read classics. But now I'm starting to kind of say, you want to know what? Any reading, really, is, um, except for maybe tabloids, <laughs> any reading is uh, beneficial to your brain and uh, your thinking. And so I've been trying to really, like, broaden my reading horizons. So I'm looking forward to this month of April reading these books. So, yeah. So comment down at the bottom. Let me know if you've read some of the books that I'm, I've mentioned and if you like them or if you're they, they've interested you or what you're planning on reading in April because I love to hear about what other people have because that's how you find out about new books. And it's like, oh, somebody read that? Oh, okay. Like, you know. And so then you learn about a new book that you would want to read. So I'd love to hear what you guys are planning on reading for the month of April. I'll be watching everybody's April TBR videos because I'd love to see what other people are going to be reading. I will talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, yeah, peace and release. Bye.